I have an Armenian friend of mine, an older man, uh, almost ready to retire. He's a he's a very well-to-do Armenian businessman here in Los Angeles, a dear friend of mine. When I first met him many years ago, he was very interested in UFOs and aliens. But he's a very successful real estate financer and a you know and got a big company, big corporation. And so I would go out with him to lunch or whatever, and he would ask me about the aliens and UFOs and all that. And I often thought, where does a businessman running a big corporation and all these people working for him, where does he get off of worrying about aliens and UFOs? And so about a year ago, I was over at his office. He called me, and I went over, and we're sitting talking. And I said to him, I said, why, why are you so interested in the alien stuff? And he said, because I saw one. He said, my friend and I, every year, we go up my Magic Mountain up here off the five freeway. Mm -hmm. We go to Magic Mountain, and we get off on the, on the Magic Mountain off-ramp, and we go, instead of going to Magic Mountain, we go uh, into the mountains. And he said, there's a, there's a nice road going up into the mountains, and if you go far enough, you'll end up in, uh, uh, what is it, Palmdale. Mm -hmm. If you go far enough, you'll hit the 14th. And he says, so we drive up this highway, this, this street by Magic Mountain, right here in uh, north of L.A., mm -hmm. Magic Mountain. And he said, we drove up there one morning, and we, we, we camped out for two or three days. We were hunting up there. And he said, and the one morning we were coming back toward Magic Mountain down the road at like 5 o'clock in the morning. And he said, and I was driving my friend's in the passenger seat, and we saw somebody walking along the side of the road away from us on our side, with his back to us. And he said, we could tell from even far away he's wearing some kind of a silver suit. And he says, as we pulled in behind this guy, we slowed down because we, it didn't look human. And he said, this thing was very tall, thinly built with a bubble head, and it was wearing some kind of a silver garment. And he said, but his arms and legs, it was arms and fingers were very long. And he said, but the thing we noticed about it, the first thing was that it had hoofs. It didn't have feet. It had a hoof like don't a goat. Don't they call them the grays? I don't know what it was, but he said, all I know is this thing had hoofs, not, a, not feet. And it was walking on two legs, hoofs, and it was a long, thinly built creature with a bubble head and long hands and long arms and fingers. And he said that as we pulled up behind it, we trolled along behind it very slowly, watching him walk. And he said, and then we stopped. We stopped because when he, we stopped, he turned around and walked in front of the car as if to challenge you to, to go any further. He walked in front of the car and stood looking at us. And he said, this thing was not of this world. It had a bubble head. It was grayish skin, long, thin arms and fingers, had a hoofs for feet, and he said, this thing stared at us, and we're staring at him in the car looking at him, and he's looking at us. And he said, we didn't know what to do. We just sit quiet and look at him. And he said, then he finally decided we're not a threat, so he started to walk away. And he said he walked like, uh, like a, a goat on hoofs. And he said he walked across the street and stopped and looked back at us for a few moments, and we just sat there looking at him, he turned around and walked back into the brush, and he's gone. So I asked him, I said, do you know where that is? He said, I will never forget. I'll tell you exactly where it is. So I went to talk to my guy, my, my dear friend, uh, Bill Burns, who publishes the UFO magazine. And Bill has said, anytime you hear of any good you know, things like that, you want a photographer, let me know. We'll go out and we'll go out. And I thought to myself, so I asked my, my Armenian friend, he said, yeah, if you want to. If you want to go out there, bring your cameras, and I'll show you where he is, and we can go back into the woods. I don't know what the hell you're going to find back there. But but when you talk about aliens and UFO aliens, they're here. He said, I saw one. Well, this is a very, very uh, well-grounded, intelligent businessman who's just telling me about his experience. So uh, there's no doubt in my mind we have aliens you know, right here with us, even in Los Angeles. 